Hello everyone, so for this evening we want to do Selenium commands. For this particular class, you're going to learn all the commands in Selenium, basically, from beginning to the end. I'll be telling you what the commands are, what they are used for, when do you use, use them, and how you use them. So that's what is going to happen. So at the end of this particular session, there will be another session to go through on this particular commands using like a workshop. So where I'm going to open IntelliJ, then I'll be telling you what you could do and how you're going to, you're going to see them basically in action. So one, okay, this one, you might have seen this one before. So I rather wanted to go back a bit to actually see if you want to use Selenium, what are the things that you need to do? First, you need to download driver. So you need to go to this particular links that I've got here. So and get your uh, Firefox or Chrome or Edge browser downloaded. For the guys on in this particular class, you should have been able to do this because we went through this last um, two sessions ago. So then after that, you will need to set your property, browser property. So to set that, if you are using Chrome, you will say system dot set property and you put web driver chrome dot driver and the path to where your chrome driver is stored so this is the your chrome driver here and then you would now put that particular path where that chrome driver is stored at this particular point so if you are using firefox it's the same thing but the only th thing that's going to change is instead of chrome is gecko so and you put the path to this particular Firefox driver that you've downloaded from this place. And the same way with the edge as well. So the path to that particular edge driver that you've downloaded from here should be stored in this location. You should put the absolute path or the relative path. The relative path in the sense that relative to your package, but if you don't know what to do, you can just put the absolute path of that. So if you are downloading my code, I've already got one already set up for Firefox, so you don't need to do this at all. So the next one that comes in, in place is most often you would be navigating to a page. So for you to navigate to a page, you have two methods to do that. So for two weeks ago, or last week, I used one of the methods, so which is get method. You would um, put driver dot get method okay i actually forgot one of the steps so you might also need to in initialize your method as well so which is uh, i'm going to go through that in the in the workshop basically but after you've initialized your driver you need to say driver dot get so and the locate on the url of that particular browser that you're going to go to so if you're going to go to www.bluesky.com you just need to say driver dot get then open and close brackets then open and close quote then you put that URL inside it at the same the same way also if you want to navigate you know, use the navigate command you say driver dot navigate and dot to then you put the location or the URL that you want to navigate to so and I will go through this quickly because I've mentioned this last week basically is locating forms and sending input so the first one is locating by id so if you're locating and your element by id you would say driver dot find element then open bracket by dot id so you would put your element there and the same thing also you know you want to you don't need to worry about the um, method at the end i'm going to talk about this after but how do you locate your element this is how to do that or oh, then this is basically sending a text to it and also the next one is clicking on on that one so if you also want to you can as well look it by name is the same way driver find element by name then the name of that element and then it, whether you want to click the element or you want to send key or by typing to the element another one is s path as well so you can say driver find element by s path and then you put the s path in the in in the in the code and you can also do your method what you want to do after you find the element so and you can as well locate that element by link text 
or what is the upper link. So what you just need to do is the same thing, driver, fan elements. So, but uh, by my there's, there's a mistake on the on the on this particular one. It's lowercase f. I'm going to correct this one in the code. Sometimes it's uh, easy to just and yeah. This is also uh, lowercase l. So, but I'm going to correct this one during the um, workshop. So yeah, it's fine element with lowercase f and also b and as uh, as l lowercase. So the link text and then you put the link the, that you want to go to and of course most often you are going to be clicking on that link. And as well you can locate by DOM also. So basically you can do in the document you can get the attribute by name and put the ID. So then from there you can decide to do whatever you want to do to that particular DOM. So as another way is by CSS actually. So you can, I think we went through this. So, so you can find your element by CSS. So, and the same way, the only difference is by dot CSS. So, and what you now need to do is like put the code on yours, what you want to get in, in the code actually. So I think we actually went through this you know, last week. So I'm going to go through it again. So one minute quickly, let me just open my IntelliJ. So. OK, so as you can see by CSS, that's what we've done last week. So yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so the next one is by class name as well. So you can also use the class name for that purpose and also tag name. You can also get it by the tag. So in this particular one, you can select the tag. So a example of the like is the select statement, is it uh, a tag, is it div? So depending on the tag you are looking for, you can actually get that. So this is not commonly used because you wouldn't be, you might not get only one element. So more often than not, you might want to use fine elements in this particular situation. So also partial text is also a good one because in some cases you want to click on elements, but you want you only want to supply the partial link of that particular element. So let's say about home or about us. So and you just want to get, uh, you want to click on that about us. But you can as, as well just select about as as a link, and it's going to click on about us basically. So if you supply a partial text of that particular link, it's going to see click that element for you as uh, as if you selected the link text and you put the full link. But if you are saying partial text, partial link text, you need to provide the partial link of that particular link. Even if you put the full link, it's still going to to work anyway. So yeah, the next one now, this is a bit complex, so I will look into this later. So in some cases, you might be working on a page that is wrapped in a frame. This is very, very important when people are saying that, oh, I'm, I'm trying to click on element or I'm trying to find my element, but it's not actually uh, seeing it. So you might need to look into your DOM to see if there's a frame, the best way to look into it, just say find F in your DOM and then see if there's any mention of frames. If there's mention of frames, then maybe that's a way to start to see do you, is your element wrapped in a frame. If it's wrapped in a frame, you might need to switch to that particular frame. So how do you switch into that particular frame? So the first method is by index number. So you supply the index of that particular frame and you just say driver does switch to frame and you supply the index of that particular frame. So you can, we will look into this as, um, as well. So driver will, the driver will switch into that particular frame. Another one also is to switch into the name or the ID of that particular frame. So most of the frames might, might have a name or ID. So you just supply the ID of that particular frame. So and you will go into that. So, or you supply the element of that particular ID. 
so of that particular frame rather so if you know the element or is like kind of an element you supply it and it's going to go into that so as well also uh, you want to also switch, you know, switch back into the main window basically let's say you refresh the screen is the frame will be on the main window basically without going into any frame so for you to because it's possible that you might be switching around different frames now you want to switch back so basically you don't just say switch back you have to for instance if you switch like two times to different frame like a one parent and it's got one child and you've got another one so if you need to click another thing that is like a sibling you need to switch back to the parent and switch back to the sibling but another way to switch is to switch back to the main window and start to go from the top bottom so this is basically how to do that we are are we going to look into that later? So another one is alert, basically. So alert is very good when you, most of us will have seen some alert when you would have some pop-ups. So that's pops and you want to actually accept or reject uh, that particular pop-up. Uh, it's totally simple. You just need to, when you have a pop-up, you just need to say text. So that should retrieve the text of that particular pop-up. And if you want to accept it, it's just the same way um, with, you just need to say dot accept, open and close brackets. So to accept the alert box. If you want to dismiss it, like saying cancel, basically you just need to kind of say dot dismiss. That will cancel the alert box. And as well in some alert boxes, you can actually send data so if the alert boxes allow you to an alert box allow, uh, allowed you to if it allows you to enter text you could do that by using the same command right now the same uh, but with the method uh, alert dot send keys open and close bracket that particular text that you want to enter into the alert box so then let's go to get methods. So get method for get method, there are different ways to um, that you can use that. One is po it's possible you want to get the URL or the title. Let's start with the title, the title of a page that you are on, basically. So this is very, very important when you are trying to validate that you're on the right um, page because it's possible that your code or your automation code may not land on that particular page so you want to assert that you're on that page to actually get the title of that page you just need to say driver.getTitle so you just need to use the get title uh, with your driver and that should take you to that should display the title of that particular page and the same thing also is applicable to this one as well so this is basically the you know, URL so as this one displaces or retrieves the title, this one retrieves the retrieves the URL of that particular page. So you just into the driver dot get current URL, and that should get the current URL for you. And you can as well get the page source from there. So that should get that one for you. So and we're going to yeah. So this one retrieves the text of a specific element. So for instance, you have element that got a text or like a, let's say you you have a command or a, a box, a button that you want to click, but you want to first verify that it's got the right button, like a submit button, or you want to get the text that's there. You can you can use the get text or you have a, um, a section that the text is written on that particular page. So you want to validate like or error message or something like that. you want to validate that the error message is displayed. You can inspect that element and then use driver dot you. You basically driver dot find element and then you put how you want to find that element. And after that, instead of saying send keys or you click, you just say you should get the text of that get text. That, that's what you're going to put there. You can as well use it also use the get attribute to get a specific attribute of that particular page. So we're going to look into that one. as So you can also 
switch between tabs and windows actually and also get the attribute of different windows so it, let's say you are on a window right now and you want to get the current undo of that particular page you can use the get you know, window undos and also if you want if you want to get the undos of all the pages that are, are available so this is going to um, give you um, all the set of undos of all the pages that you've opened so that is what that one will get for you so and you can then actually switch for instance you can you can get the undo and save it somewhere and let's say you want to now switch into another page or another window that you opened or another tab you can use this particular command to say driver dot switch to then dot window then you give the undo of that particular window so then you will switch into that particular window or that particular tab so and i will use this last week i just want to put this also here so the driver close and the driver quit both of them serve um, in the purpose of closing your windows but in a different way so the close will close your current window and the quit will close all the windows that's opened by your web driver session so and quickly any question if there's any question before i go ahead Sorry, one minute. Okay, someone mentioned what is done. I'm going to show you. Okay, so. Okay, all right, so. We go, I'm going to address that the, so it's better to just show you what that is. So. Okay, all right, so actions. So I think this is common. You, you might have seen this right now. The first one is how do you click on element? So basically just get the element by find, um, driver, find element, whether you want to find it by ID, by name or whatever. So, but you don't put dot click at the end any element that you find and you put dot click you should be able to click on that element so now so you can also clear an element of course you cannot clear element or uh, an element which is a button or which is a uh, something that you cannot interrogate or is disabled basically so more often than not you are going to use this to clear an um, a text in a text box so let's say you've typed something in a text box before and you want to clear it. A good example is when you you want to type your username and password and you just want to be sure that there's no text because it's possible that your autocomplete may already been set. So when you go to that page and you start to type, it continually is going to type on top of what you've, you've had at the place before or sometimes you might you might type on it and so append what you're typing to what is already there so for that not to happen you might want to clear your that particular you know, element first and then before you start typing what you want to type so that takes us to yeah i've discussed about this one before so it's basically let's say when you type into that element and uh, you on that particular uh, element that you found you might want to get the text out so this is how to get it once you got this particular element you can store that in a variable or in a in any you know, variable that you want to put it in so the next one is navigation right so how do you navigate from one page to the other on uh, i've showed you one one of them is also by clicking so but now using our driver navigate refresh you can actually refresh that particular page so it's going to open a new instance of that or it's going to refresh that page for you basically so you can go forward and you can as well go back or oh, using this particular command driver navigate forward and driver navigate back oh, okay i think you don't need to worry about that one so 
so another okay sorry so yeah another one is the same case so for the same case the same way also you just need to find the element and just put dot same case we saw this last week and that should do that one for you so let's go through assertion quickly so you might want to assert um, different things on on the page so one of them is you want to assert that an element is displayed so for you to do that you want to get that element so uh, the same way this is standard who well, i think you should be familiar with that now find that element and then put dot is displayed this is going to return true for you if that element is displayed and it's going to return false for you if it's not displayed so basically is displayed will return a boolean uh, value for you so you should declare uh, a variable boolean and assign it to this particular um, statement that you've got so that you can store true or false so is enabled is another one so this verify if an element is enabled is the same way basically that you've got here so instead of it displayed i didn't put the statements you got is enabled is the same way so you just find your statement find your element rather and then say is enabled if that element is enabled it's going to return true for you if it disabled it's going to return uh, false basically is basically uh, I, I can't I, I don't want to say it's opposite of this basically but an element will not be enabled if it's not displayed basically so i need to know how this goes together so i've spoken about get attributes before i just want to uh, at that particular time i did not actually write how it's going to look like so but bear in mind this should be capital b anyway so apologies for for that so just type it on the keyboard so driver dot find element by you just find your element anyway then the next one is basically the attribute that you want to find, whether you want to find ID or you want to find class or you want to find or depending on the attributes in that particular on DOM basically. So, okay. So now the next part now is this is where we stopped last week basically. So you might want to select elements. So how do you select element? This is it's got two parts also for you select element basically like when you have a drop down so you want to select a an element in an in a drop down so you might you have them in options so the first one is for you to select by text or select by index i just put select by index as an example right now so what you need to look into is just first thing you need to have your select element is equal to select then you put your driver find element, then by what? So you want to find your element first. That's the first one. Then after that, so you will now select by index. So this will select maybe the first one or the second one. So basically that is the end of the commands. Actually, there are still a few ones anyway. So you know, I might add them ne next week. So and um, this is the end of the tutorial. Mm let's say the tutorial one so we're going to go into the practical session so right now